You said you saw something somewhere. I what? saw all these cars behind a uh, chain link fence, and I thought, there's got to be a flip here. I mean, is there some potential? Well, yeah, I mean, it was a whole bunch of cars. I'm with you, man. So Kevin starts talking to me about this car lot that he spotted. Man, I thought I knew all the picking spots in Vegas, but this one is new to me, and we do need a quick flip or two, so I'm looking forward to checking this lot out. I mean, do you know anything about this place no, or anything? No, I don't know anything. Gates are open. I say we take a peek. And look, there's some older stuff in here. Got an old Camaro there. Yeah. Let's see an old Monte Carlo over there. Yeah. That could be interesting. Yeah. When I first came by, I just kind of got out and walked in the dirt over Here's there. Here's a gentleman right here, man. Oh, yeah. How you doing? We're not trespassing, are we? <laughs> All right, good. So cool. far, so good. I'm Danny. Danny, I'm Leonard. Leonard, it's very nice to nice meet to you, meet man. You this too. is my partner, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin? Nice to meet Leonard, you. Leonard, man, nice to meet you, too. Leonard, what do you do here, man? We had an auto shop down the street a little bit. OK. Uh, I tried to fix them up, sell them, and stuff like that. Really? Me and my pops, man, we collect old cars. We got one hell of a storage yard. You willing to buy it? I might be willing to sell. We're car guys, man. I got I got a place here in town. We build hot rods, we build motorcycles, we restore vehicles, things like that. So you looking to buy something, maybe, perhaps? I'm always shopping. You don't mind if we wander around? Not at all. My casa is su casa. No big German Shepherd going to eat me or nothing? <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this spot so far. There seems to be a lot of good solid flips laying around this yard. But the problem is Leonard, he's in the same business I'm in. So negotiating with him is going to be difficult. Got a couple old schools back here. Man, you do. Now, what year are the Lincolns? I want to say 65, maybe 67. Uh-huh. Both suicide doors. Yeah. Do they run? Actually, now, these are not running up. They've been stripped down. Oh, I got you. For what we're looking for, are some quick flips. Yeah. We need something we can turn pretty fast. Uh, I've always had this one. Old Javelin here. Sweet, oh, wow. man. Yeah, I dig, I dig these, man. AMC Javelin. What year is this? I'm not sure. I want to say it's a 70, 72. Going to go with a 72. Mm-hmm. And this one is the AMX. I'm a huge fan of the AMX. Better options, better equipment, better engine. This is really cool. The ride was short but sweet for this Javelin AMX. The second generation of the AMC, this two-door hardtop was lower, longer, wider, and heavier than its predecessor. It was built to compete with the Ford Mustang, and boy, did it work, because in 1972, it broke sales records. But the Mustang ended up eventually winning the war when AMC was forced to stop production in 1974 after only four years. I have to admit, I'm really intrigued with this Javelin. It's really cool, and I like the color. It's so 70s, man. How long have you had this car? Actually, it was my personal car when I was, like, my early 20s. Now, wait a minute, Leonard. It was your personal car, and you don't know what year it is. Sometimes I don't know what year it is today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 72. Are you sure? I'm slightly positive. <laughs> <laughs> your early 20s were fun. Yeah, they were fun and <laughs> foggy. <laughs> So, Leonard, what would you take for this car? I mean, she is a classic. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It's not too many of them. So, I'm about 9.5 at you. 9,500 on it. It's a little steep for me. I really like the car, and I appreciate the condition that it's in. But with that being said, I would have to take the whole car apart and restore every bit of it. Yeah. I was thinking something more like around 5,500 on it. I'll drop a G on you. 85? She's a rare piece. Remember, we're looking for a flip. I know. I know. But I like it. I'll come, I'll come up a grand. Would you go 65 on this? In cash. Man, I can hear my old man right now breathing down my neck. <laughs> uh, I'll let you take it for eight. That's too steep for me. That's too steep for me. Yeah, I mean, this car goes really, really way back and is dear to me. I got you. I understand that feeling. Man, this is a great car, but there's no way in the world I can justify spending that much money on a car like this right now. But you can be sure I'm going to be scoping this yard out again to see if Leonard's got something new laying around. I'm going to try to hold back that German chest. Yeah, you're going to let him loose now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leonard.